Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel. Today we're going to talk about a um, nice little feature in Windows, especially since um, Windows Vista, um, where it was really introduced and worked well. It was available in Windows XP, but it was kind of complicated and didn't work really well, basically. Um, one of the things that keeps your computer running smoothly is a way to update your drivers and uh, basically a, a lot of the videos that I made people have problems uh, one that comes to mind is the camera app and people tell me well it doesn't work well or it crashes or my camera doesn't seem to work and the first thing that comes to mind when you have such a problem with a device in a computer is the fact that you need to basically update and check for an update of these drivers. Now, I did a video explaining how to uh, or talking about updating drivers, but there's a quick way that you can check for drivers, and it's probably for someone that's not really tech savvy and doesn't know too much what he's doing. One of the easy ways for drivers to be updated is through the uh, Microsoft website and there's a pretty automatic way of updating drivers in the computer so if you have a computer that um, has some kind of a problem with a device you should check for updated drivers and how do you do that when you're on your start screen go into your charms bar on the right side of the screen either by swiping or going to in the corners with your mouse click search and when you click search just click update and go into settings on that search and here you'll have one of the features that's called update drivers update device drivers click on that and it's going to bring you to the device manager and here if you have for example um, if the device that's not working well is your webcam well you can go into and check uh, the webcam uh, for example here sound video and game controllers you'll click the little arrow and you have the information about different system uh, information and devices you have on your computer so uh, try to find whatever device in that list and once you selected that device what you should actually do uh, is update it by simply going for example um, if I want to search for an update for my network wireless network card I'll click here I'll see the uh, Realtek RTL wireless LAN so uh, double click and click on driver and there you'll see it says update driver now you always have a date for the driver that's written there here in this case it's uh, 21 August 2012 I'll click update driver and I'll click search automatically for updated driver software and this is gonna search pretty much online in the Microsoft uh, website for updated drivers and if there is an updated driver available you'll see um, the driver it's going to tell you the best driver software for your device is already installed and that's okay or else it's actually going to update it for you so um, it's an easy way to try and find drivers of course when it tells you that the best driver is already there it doesn't really mean that it's the uh, driver that you uh, the latest driver uh, that you got to be careful sometimes the Microsoft or the Windows uh, store the Microsoft store might not have the drivers needed and you'll have to go to the manufacturer of course the best way to find an updated driver is pretty much to go into your um, computer um, website the, the, the manufacturer so for example my Toshiba I would go to the Toshiba.com website and check for my model number and check for uh, what I can um, update from there 
but by going through the Microsoft or the uh, online search of device manager at least if you all don't know what you're doing too much here you cannot hurt just doing our update search uh, shouldn't normally hurt your computer so uh, that's one of the easy ways to update drivers if you want to try it so just find a device in that list that's basically what you'll want to do and once you found that device then you can update it um, with the uh, update feature uh, for example if you have graphics display problem you can go to the display adapters click on it uh, click driver once again and just update driver search automatically for an updated driver and if anything's available it's going to tell you here it says it's already installed and up to date like I said it doesn't mean that it's necessarily up to date but at least if you don't know how to fetch or how to check for updates of some drivers this is an easy way and there's a chance a good chance actually that you'll have the updates available if there are any some updates if you enjoy our videos please click the subscribe button at the top of the screen or on the screen and you'll be informed when new videos are uh, available it's a great way to keep in touch especially if you have that new Windows 8 machine if you um, have a feature you'd like us to talk about then let us know and uh, hope that you enjoy our videos and that you'll come back to the official Windows 8 channel bye bye